everybody Jeff Williams with Nutri Deer. I'm so excited to be in the stand tonight. It's the first hunt of the year. It's uh, the middle of September here in Kansas. Kansas muzzleloader season. Got my good friend Rusty Pritchard running the camera. Uh, we've been up here for a couple days and what we've got, we've got a brand new power corn site set out about a hundred yards away from us right out here and we've got a lot of does and several bucks hitting that power corn site and uh, we've uh, had the site out long enough to determine that there's a nice five by five, there's a nice mature five by four, and there's a real cool three-year-old deer here that's got some uh, drop tines. He'd be a real cool deer to get on camera, but I won't shoot him tonight. So uh, we're sitting here in a big old walnut tree. It's in the evening and it is plenty hot. It's about 82, 83 degrees. We got a light east wind coming across the field this way so we should have a, have a good wind unless we have a big buck step out on us right out here by the creek let's see if we can get some action on the power corn site never know might get lucky tonight Well, one of the many benefits of power corn is the turkeys really like it too. They give you something to look at when you're waiting on that old mossy horns to show up. But they can be kind of hard on your power corn too. I don't know how many of them we got over there right now, but I'd like to see about half that many. <laughs> well, that isn't the... Uh big mossy horn we were hoping for but we do have a buck at the power corn tonight boy those does just come out of nowhere right here to my right they were just on top of us you know I tell you what's amazing about the power corn is this uh, little field that we're setting in is in the middle of two soybean fields. There's a soybean field to the east and a soybean field to the west. And these deer's preferred food as soon as they get on their feet is to come to the power corn. That's saying a lot here in Kansas when these deer are surrounded by agriculture and crops that they come to the power corn first. Hey, just when we thought we were going to run out of camera light, uh, the two uh, big bucks that we had got on trail camera uh, eased into the field. This three-year-old went straight to the power corn site and uh, run the littler deer and the does off. And uh, the larger, more mature deer, uh, he's over here to the right just a little bit. And uh, he walks in and uh, gets ready to start making a scrape. Now a lot of times when these older deer or these larger bucks come in, they will come in and dominate these power corn sites and uh, they will just push almost all these deer off of them until they get the fill. That's a big old mature deer right there. Sure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take him. Down. Down in Kansas. First night, Rusty. Them deer are still just covered up on that power corn right there. Now, uh, we got a mature deer. This isn't just a, a monstrous deer 
but what we're working on here is uh, we're really working on the genetics on this farm. This is a big mature five by four deer. There was a smaller three year old deer out in the power corn to the left of this deer that in a few years he's just going to be an absolute giant. I'm very proud of this deer. Uh, we're going to go check him out here in just a minute. I just covered up. How about that for big oak mature Kansas whitetail? Look at the nose on this deer, big old Roman nose. I don't know how much this deer weighs, but this is probably the heaviest buck as far as body weight goes that I have ever killed. I don't know, he has got to be probably six and a half years old, I would say. He looked huge on the camera, and it's going to be all rusty and I can do to get him up in the back of that uh, F-250. He is big. Uh, I don't know what he's going to score, but he's definitely a trophy in my book. Uh, very mature deer, and uh, we're blessed to be able to come out here and hunt for these big deer early muzzleloader season in Kansas. Uh, we've got lots of trail ken pictures of this deer right over here at the power corn site. We'll throw those up in the video for you so you can see. But when you look at a big old Roman nose, big old mature head like this, and a body like that, folks, it's time to get them harvested. I'm Jeff Williams with NutriDeer. I really appreciate uh, you uh, watching the video, and uh, we can't wait to come back and hunt in Kansas again next year.